That's right. Here at Mowers and Blowers, we push them into the garage and they come out driving. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. Welcome to part uh, 21 of my Easy Go Workhorse 1200 Utility Gas Golf Cart. In the previous 20 episodes, I changed the engine on this. It's got a Honda GX uh, 340 engine in it, and most of it's all hooked up. Now, you turn the key to turn the power on. Uh, it starts, it runs, and it shuts off. Um, I need it to be hooked up to the gas pedal now. So when I step on the gas pedal, the throttle linkage moves the lever that increases or decreases the throttle of the engine that's what i'm going to try to do today and it looks like this right now so with the front seat bench put forward and the uh bed rotated backwards the engine looks like this as you know i've uh added the clutch onto there two new belts starter generator hooked up already relocated switches on and off to the front uh, dash panel and all that's left right now is this lever right here this is your typical horizontal shaft uh, throttle lever uh, I forget if that's low and this is high but as you're moving this it's under tension okay I'm thinking over here you see that you see how I move it I believe that that part right there has a crush washer on there. The crush washer is bent concave like that so that it rubs the metal as you're moving it, giving it tension. I have a, there's a small spring over there that is, acts like a return, but it doesn't really do anything because it's under a lot of pressure, you know? I wanna uh, loosen that nut there and uh, see if that it'll move easily, you know? like free-flowing without any tension because this is the uh, part where you step on the here, let me go step on it well I have you there watch what watch how it moves okay I'm pressing it down and releasing pressing it down and releasing so when you press it down look at the end of that stud as you press it down, this thing will move, will pull upwards like that, right? So I want to attach something here with a wire that goes in there that attaches to this um, lever here. May, I might have to drill a hole here so that it, when I step on the gas, it pulls this that way. And then I'll put a return spring to have it pulled back. That's my plan, but it has to move super easily, you know, and right now it doesn't. You actually have to use your strength and push it and pull it. So I think the key is that nut there. You're a nut. I'm going to remove the air box to get a better look at it. I just kept this air box on here so that it doesn't again flood with rainwater, which it did before. As a result, I had to re... Uh, clean the carburetor and also change the oil because water got into it so here's a good view of it you guys see what I'm looking at here this is your typical um, Honda horizontal shaft lever and it's connected right there to the governor so this will be my throttle control right here and ideally this thing should move very simple very easily and as you can see this lever actually has a few holes there which I could just add some type of connection here with a wire cable that's z-bended into these holes that leads to a connection over here so when I step on the gas this pulls upward cable pulls and this thing moves this way I plan on changing this muffler too, and this heat shield is kind of getting in the way. Um, I won't mess with this now because look, look how um, rusted that is. I don't want to be hasty 
and ruin this whole thing before I even start doing that. So I'm gonna try to finish this first. Got a 10 millimeter wrench here. I'm just gonna loosen this nut, see what happens. Ooh, wait a minute, so if I loosen this nut, does this free flow? It's pretty free, but it's not super um, easy to do. If I bend this upwards a little, no, it still has quite a bit of tension, not enough to um, be viable. I want it to be super loose. Like if you put a sail to it in blue, it would move. All right, that's much better right there. That's pretty free flowing, but still not very much. I want to remove this and see if it's got some kind of a bent, um, on purpose of course, crush washer. Oh, that's pretty loose right there. Yeah, that's good, I think. It's got a return right there. That spring there, it's returning it, which is good. So if I pull this, it'll go and then it'll pull back. Actually, I want, it, I want it to pull back some more. So this spring may have to be bent a little bit more to give it some more tension. That might be a good idea. So I'm thinking to get increase the tension, why don't I remove this spring and connect it to this one over here. Not the way it is. Okay, so I bent this tab back a little bit to put more tension on this spring, and I just I just hooked it on this big white, uh, big round part, and it looks like the tension is very good now. So if you're you're going faster, and it'll just automatically pull back on its own. So that's pretty good. Uh, ideally, I think I want to change it to a more stronger spring with a more solid connection. Because what if I'm I'm driving out there and all of a sudden this thing breaks, you know what I mean? Because that looks kind of like a wimpy little spring, you know? If I put a more stronger spring on there, better quality, it'll be, uh, it'll retract a little bit better, I think. Now to kind of work out this thing right over here. Because this actually kind of pivots a little bit, see? You pull it and it actually moves a little bit for no reason. I mean, there was a reason before because this was hooked up to another thing, you know? But it has to be a little bit more solid and precise, being that it's the throttle, you know, it's important. I have to think a little bit. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm j I just got a thin wire connected to this hole over here, connected it temporarily to this stud over there, ju and I have good tension on it with this thing all the way at uh, low throttle, right? At idle actually or er, yeah so here we go I'm gonna step on the um, pedal and see if it moves the full distance of the throttle lever see it doesn't return all the way because that spring is not strong enough to pull it all the way but it does look like when I step up when I floor it it does pretty much almost all the way go to the end but I need it to return because you don't want high throttle all the time, right? So you want it to have a strong spring that returns it to idle. That's important. I found this wire uh, spring. This is uh, off of one of those Briggs quantum engines, I believe. And the tension on the spring is a lot better than that. Uh, because you could see the coiling is a lot more... Um, compacted and tight see and also has this long wire here which I could actually hook into one of those holes which is better I'm gonna try that so that didn't work well it broke as I tried to stretch it and it doesn't return all the way see so that's no good back to the drawing board so I found a bigger spring that connects on the other side, goes around here and hooks onto that mechanism for now. Uh, it holds. I don't know how, but I hurt myself again. Anyway, so let's test it and see if it retracts all the way when I step on the pedal. 
I'm gonna step on the pedal now. Here we go. Full throttle, throttling up. And we, does it go all the way back? Yes, it does. That feels pretty good, actually. I'm gonna lubricate this part here to make it slide even better. So I still wasn't satisfied with the way it was working. It didn't all it didn't go all the way back. So I'm gonna install this bracket I made where it takes it out another two inches from that area. So it stretches the spring a little bit more and hook it onto this hole. I'm just trying. And of course that's not the right one. Of course it won't fit the hole. Just drilled the hole bigger, got it on tape, but of course my GoPro is so old that it didn't record. Isn't that wonderful? That's wonderful. Hey, you guys know how to drill a hole. Drill a hole. Ooh, that's stretching it. That's stretching it, baby, right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right, that's good, that's good, let's see now, okay, I'm going to go step on the pedal now, ooh, hmm, that's not pulling it though, Oh, you know why? Because the tension is so hard that it's not going to... Um, I'm going to have to figure out this linkage now to the throttle linkage here. Because this is just, you know, when you have a lot of tension, see? It just pulls it. Okay, I've been at this for a while. So I got an old uh, lawn tractor uh, throttle engagement cable, you know? It has a sheathing here to protect it from water or whatever and rust i oiled it with some lubricant inside cut it to length did a z-bend so that it goes here and then did a z-bend into a hole that was in this stud already uh that was a pain <laughs> as you could imagine so anyway here i am i'm gonna step on the pedal as you can see it moves the throttle but only an inch though I mean, I, I don't plan on going super fast with this thing, so for now, this will work for just throttle up and throttle down, you know? So that's it. Uh, what do you guys think? Should we, <laughs> oh my God, should I try it? Oh my God, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna start it up and it's gonna run and I'm gonna step on the throttle and see if it works. Holy cow. Okay, choke. Ah.
Okay, that's idle right here. And I step on the pedal all the way. That's fantastic, isn't it? Now it doesn't go all the way. If, if I manually put it all the way, it goes really fast. I couldn't imagine going that fast in this thing. That's idle right there. That's pretty good. Awesome. I'm gonna shut it off now. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, I just put the air cleaner on. I'm gonna try it again. On. I was pulling so hard on that throttle that I bent the governor lever a little bit. I just bent it back. You can feel it over here. So I was looking through it, um, the amount of play that's involved is so precise that I'm thinking about maybe just bypassing that lever altogether, you know, the throttle lever, connecting the wire directly to the carburetor throttle, or at least the linkage that goes to the governor. Maybe that would be better, you know, because that, that's more, it will be more sensitive for sure. When I step on the gas, you know what I mean? But uh, we can bypass this lever altogether. This goes straight with the gas pedal wire cable attached to the linkage that attached to the governor lever. That way for sure you'll know it'll throttle up and throttle down, you know. But uh, that's a big part of it today, guys. Um, that's great, man. <sighs> then there's the brakes. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode 21 of my go-kart. See you guys next time. I'm always in blows. You guys enjoyed the video. Remember to give me a like. Also, 
comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.